Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to First Chronicles chapter 25. I dealt with, but uh, one of the things that uh, they talked about was uh, that really hit me. That really uh, that we deal with today, especially when we talk to uh, people who are in modern progressive churches, or they are uh, <coughs> reading any other Bible besides this 1611 KGB, um, is scholars. Everybody's heard that. Like, oh, well, this biblical scholar said this. Well, the biblical scholar said that. Um, if you're already there at First Chronicles, chapter 25, we're going to read verse 8 real quick. And then uh, I can read it, and you guys can start turning to Malachi 2, 12. So there's going to be two different spots. And the word scholar, this is the two spots that appears in your Bible. And just really hang on to this. I... It's really blessed me, and I hope it blesses you all. But uh, I'm going to read First Chronicles 25, 8. And they cast lots, ward against ward, as well as the small, as well the small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now, Malachi 2:12. That's where I'll read. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob. And him that offer, offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. So, <coughs> you get the, the big thing there? Scholars were students. So the people who are out here saying, oh, this biblical scholar said this, that biblical scholar is learning like everybody else. They don't know what they're talking about. Especially if they're not in this KJV Bible. Right. And it's, I, I, I kind of chuckle now that I, I, I know this. And I finally let the Lord say, hey, go listen to this podcast. It's going to bless you. That guy knows what he's talking about. You just need to sit down and shut up for a minute. But it's one question that I always I always ask that, uh, well, now that, now that I know this, um, these biblical scholars, one of their biggest things is, well, uh, this may not have been that way within the, the King James Bible. It needs to be said like this. Why is it that they think that they know more than the ones who had literal contact with the creator of this universe? Or getting into the New Testament, the ones who saw him in, literally standing in front of him, and they think that they know more than the ones who were in, literally in this Bible and stood before our Creator. And it, it, it's just funny to me that that's, that, that, that's where they go. Because, but the, 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 the people in this, in this book, like I said, literally had contact with our Creator and they're telling you how to live in a way that will please God and these biblical scholars are like, ah, that's not really what they meant. Or, you're not supposed to do it that way. It's more like this. And why do we think that we know more than this book? It, it, it baffles me. But, they were merely students. And, they have a lot to learn about this book. And, I don't know that we'll really ever, I don't know if you can ever really uncover all the mysteries of this book within a lifetime. That's why it's taken thousands of years and we still don't got it down. But the good thing about this book is 
It's the living word. And that's one of the reasons why you'll never really uncover all the mysteries because every time you read one story, it may talk to you and you get something else. So it's constantly moving. And so, but we're, we're, we're called to study this book, to get as much as you can out of it. Amen. And everybody go to uh, 2 Timothy 2.15 real quick. This is something that Shane's always been on. You should know it by heart by now. She knows. Because <laughs> he's always harping at her now. <laughs> so, 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. So, I, I'm, I don't want to go too far because I'm going to get into my Wednesday message, but... You need to be studying this book. You may not get everything out of it in a whole lifetime, but trust me when I say that it will speak to you and give you something new every single time. That's right. Um, and that, that's kind of where I'll end this right here, but um, else you can go ahead and cut it. Um,